These people are heading to Foothill College in California to watch an extraordinary athletics event. Today, track records will be broken. But it'll take a law enforcement officer to measure the extreme speeds. These competitors have a natural advantage, for they come equipped with sophisticated footwear, and they're extremely aerodynamic. The athletes running today are cheetahs. They're competing in a race to raise money for the Cheetah Conservation Fund. Their extreme speed will also raise more than a few eyebrows. That's because the cheetah is the fastest thing on four legs. It's three times faster than the best human sprinters on the planet. In fact, the cheetah's specifications are more like that of a racing car than a track star. It can go from zero to over 100 kilometers per hour in less than four seconds. The cheetah really is a high-performance racing machine. It has to be quick, because out on the African savanna, the cheetah has a taste for fast food. It's the cheetah's advanced engineering that gives it the edge. Its engine is powered by an enlarged heart and lungs and air-cooled by the largest nostrils in the cat family. Its chassis is lightweight and flexible to ensure the greatest stride length possible. And cheetahs are the only cats that always have their claws fully extended. That's because they need all the traction they can get as they race for food. We could learn a lot from the cheetah's design. We may not be able to grow bigger hearts or lungs, but we can improve our footwear to help us run faster. That's what Mario LaFortune does at the Nike Sport Research Lab in Oregon. We are collecting information about the motion and motion of the foot with respect to motion of the legs. When we are talking about sprinter, we know that in the first 30 meters per second, they have to build up from a zero velocity to 12 to 13 meters per second. And all of the propulsion takes place under the fore part of the shoe. Therefore, we are positioning the cleats there such that they move and they can really apply that a lot of force that is going to accelerate them to run faster and faster. Back at the Cheetah Grand Prix, people are waiting to find out which cat is the fastest. Shaka is the favorite for this year's meeting, but Zulu will be pushing for pole position. No one knows the form of the two racers better than trainer Don Simus. Shaka is larger, so he has a longer stride. Zulu is shorter, we always expect her to be slower. She always does better, and I think it's because she's lower to the ground. As an incentive, the world's fastest mammal chases something small, fast, and colorful to guarantee maximum speed. First on the starting line is Zulu. Eighty kilometers per hour is a disappointing speed. Can Shaka do better? At 107 kilometers per hour, Shaka is the winner. 
and his reward is the same as the first Olympians. Back in ancient Greece, the Olympics were a little different to today's competition. For a start, all the competitors raced in the nude. The Greeks believed that clothes just got in the way. That's why the word gymnasium comes from the word gymnos, which is Greek for naked. And the naked athletes didn't compete for lucrative sponsorship deals. The winners received nothing more than an olive branch and a free dinner of meat. And while Shaka also dined on meat, our next contender feeds on speeds that blow all competition out of the sky.